Um, so we, we started off trying to think how on earth we could get movement in um, three directions enough for it to print successfully, which I'm sort of hoping it's doing at the moment. Um, what I'd really like is to have got lots of the wrap pieces and lined them all up in two directions and got a, a lovely X, Y bed, um, but sadly that wasn't available. So this, um, you can see at the top there, there's a row of worm wheels which are positioned so that um, when the rack bridges them, it's effectively one great big long worm wheel, as we only have four of them. Um, so that takes the gantry across um, the page. Now, because the, that construction isn't terribly strong in, in, in its sort of pulling power, um, I didn't want to have to build a mechanism for lower, no, lowering the pen down, because that would mean casting a motor about. Um, so it's the bed that rises up underneath the pen. Um, you might be able to just see that there happening in the video. Um, the paper is moved about by these wheels, which are uh, there at the other top, set into the bed. Um, but it can only pull the paper from under the pen. So all the programming of all the letters has got to be done so that all the letters have got the page pulled away from them rather than pushing, because it might get a paper jam. Um, and then to, we had some problems with the, um, the accuracy. Uh, there's a lot of play in Lego. Um, so some paper shims, which you can just see at the edge of that gantry there, were inserted to take out as much of the play as possible so that the letters will join up. Yes, I think that's about all about the mechanics of it. Uh, so that, now let's look at some of the um, writings of our printer. Um, First, um, this is the first words of our printer. Um, as you can see, hello world, which is quite typical um, for the machine, right? Um, it's, as you can see, the uh, lines are getting thinner and thinner because um, originally we haven't calibrated um, the bed to, um, to a suitable angle and it keeps pushing the pen off. That's why um, it's get, the lines are getting thinner and thinner. And you notice that the D is a bit um, strange because um, it's not simply not sensitive enough. Uh, so that's why we changed the design of the D afterwards. And then um, here's the keep calm carry-on. I think um, it's, it's quite a good reminder, especially during, during this project. And um, you can see it's actually um, slightly, um, there's, a, I mean, it's on a slope um, upwards. Because um, it, um, when we get, it, get this print to the right end, it's actually um, on low battery condition and under the load of the pen, actually, um, uh, it's, there is a slippage in the, in the wheels, in the y direction. And um, good morning, greetings from, from, uh, from the printer. And also, um, uh, any, fr any fans of Terry, Terry Pratchett here, uh, the out of cheese era, um, in this, diagram, uh, in this um, image you can see that um, it actually automatically does the line change for you. Um, well, uh, the line length, you can set it automatically, but um, when the word count is uh, when the character count is, uh, exceeds the word um, the line length, they will automatically um, put an enter and then hand it to the child. So it has printed out our enter. So we print, can print out English. Does anyone in the room speak Japanese? Anyone? That's kind of a letdown. But that says hello. It can write in Japanese, write in English, do other things. Um, how? With a few lines of code, really. It just takes the word you give it, it looks for each character, and for each character we've given the program the library of vectors to draw. So it knows that there are starting coordinates for each line, and it just goes through each line. And it draws the line, moves on to the next letter after making sure it's zero and won't be drawing over itself. And it continues through until there are no more letters left to draw. And that's nearly everything. But it is a printer and a scanner, 
and therefore a further part of the Earth. So if you remember the star and the smiley face earlier, it can also print those. Uh, those take a lot longer, we won't be doing a demo of those. Um, so you can scan, print, do text, drag these, and uh, that's it. Thank you.